what is up you guys it's your girl Rio Marie here back with another cruise review video as you know we went on the carnival celebration mega ship if you didn't know baby rewind 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 go ahead and go back I'm gonna actually put a whole playlist for all the activities we did on this past trip so go back and watch that and then you can come back and watch the review or you can watch this one and then afterwards just go back and watch but let's go ahead and get started into the next part of this review which is our favorite because we're foodies over here the carnival celebration dining room so first off i want to start by saying this ship had so many different restaurants so many different food options for all of the foodies out there like us and it was so many that we only pretty much ate once at each one that we actually went to so starting off with this video we're gonna go ahead and get started with the quick eats so very quick if you want something to grab these are more than likely your options I actually have my notes here because it's been a while since we got off the ship it's been a few months some of the foods i needed to kind of remember go back through the footage and see exactly how i liked it in the moment first we have shack's big chicken i think i got the shack attacks chicken sandwich so it came with pepper jack cheese jalapeno slaw Ooh, that don't sound like me so i must have told them hold the slaw and spicy chipotle barbecue sauce so from what I remember, since it's hard for me to remember, I'm gonna have to give it like a six out of 10 because I think it was okay. It was supposed to be spicy. I do remember that, but it wasn't spicy enough. Like I like my spices hit to where I might just not be okay afterwards. I'll be sniffing, I'll be needing to go stick my head in the freezer somewhere. That's how I like my food, my spices. And it wasn't even touching that, so. I think Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich was actually spicier than this. So that's why I kind of say it was okay. I do remember the fries. The fries were really good and their sauce was really good too. The chicken wasn't seasoned like talking about. Well, maybe it's just for me, seasoned to my liking. So that's why I would give it probably like a six out of 10 because I don't remember it like talking about. And if I love or if I like a food, I'm going to remember it. So I would have to go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. Next, we had Guy's Burger. I got the ringer without the onion ring. I hate a burger with a big old onion ring on top. I don't like it. <laughs> so it had all the toppings, but also it had the Guy's Bourbon Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. And like I said, the huge onion ring. So I'm pretty sure I told them hold the onion ring. I remember it being good in that moment. Next time I'm gonna have to remember to record in the moment just so I remember exactly what it tastes like so I can give y'all a better judgment on it because I really can't remember it. Next we have Street Eats. So Street Eats on the ship was outdoors and it had different little boots. So it's kind of like a little food truck situation but we did go to, I think it's called Time Fries, and it had like a lot of different fry options, but it was only during certain times and once a day they'll change it so one would be free and the other ones you would have to pay for. So I think when we went, it was free. We got the loaded fries, who I think chili and cheese, and then uh, I think I just got cheese though. And I went and get some wings, cause those honey barbecue wings, they look so good and they work but the only thing is i'm a flats girl so i don't know because i didn't ask but i would have liked to have it all flat the only thing with the wings those weren't free i think i got either honey barbecue or honey chipotle one of those but i wish the sauce was more mixed together i guess but i literally taste it separately so when I bite it, I'll taste the honey and then I'll taste the barbecue. I don't, the, so the sauce, I wish they had a different sauce that was more combined so that it'll enhance the flavor. I don't know if that made sense, but to me it made sense. I just tasted it both and I wanted it together, not separately on my palate, you know, Gordon Ramsay things. <laughs> 
we have blue iguana i think i got because they normally do just burritos and tacos i'm pretty sure i got the taco i don't really like burritos like that and i'm pretty sure i got the shrimp tacos those were okay for a quick type of grab so for me with all of these quick eat foods i think the main problem is that i love my food hot like spicy but also hot so even if it's not spicy i just need my food hot to where i need it to cool down like a few seconds and then i can eat it or at least a minute and then i can eat it but because these were quick of course they're not burning up hot i think that's the main issue when it came to it i don't remember the taste of the tacos to be honest i remember it being okay and i remember babe like really not liking it it did its purpose we ate it was quick and we got on with our regular activities. Just leaving that there. Next, we have the Java Blue Cafe. I remember getting coffee. The coffee was pretty good. Did have to pay for the coffee. And the line was crazy long every morning. So I only had that once too. All these foods I only had once except Shaq's Big Chicken, which we had twice. The line was crazy. They're kind of quick with it though. So, I mean, it's up to you. They have other coffee options on the boat too. They did have a Starbucks. On the side of it, they had like a little pastry area where you can just grab a few danishes or something and you're good to go. That line was not long, which I don't understand because it was really, really good, especially for a quick breakfast before you go. And last but not least, we have the pizza as well as room service. So first the pizza, it was served at Miami Slice and I love that they had options for the pizza. They had what? Margarita, pepperoni, four cheese, La Habana, and Picadillo or Picadillo. They were really good. They weren't like, oh my God, the best pizza ever. But they were pretty good for a cruise. And just to let y'all know, that line gonna be long regardless. It don't matter what time of night, what time of morning, it's gonna be long. So just be prepared to wait. And it goes by fast though. It does go by fast. I think. It went by fast. It was just if you felt like waiting in a long, in a long line. Because the line is long. Like past the pizza sometimes. As far as the room service goes. We had to live on room service for the last two days. As you saw. We were. Well not we. But I wasn't feeling good. And I didn't feel safe enough to get out of the room. At that point I realized. Okay no you are sick. This is not sinuses. So we had to stay in the room and I was like, okay, well, I'ma just get room service. This is the only reason we got room service and that's the only reason I think you should. The food wasn't as good. It was just like really thrown together and they had some decent options, but like I said, it was, by the time you got it, it was cold. It took a very, very long time for them to bring it, which I understand because they work hard. And as much people was on the ship, and as good as the food was, I understand it took a long time to get to you. I mean, for us, I feel like it probably would be like an hour and a half to two hours before you got your food for room service. The main reason I was getting it was because whatever I was having, it was like a coughing fit. So I would just be coughing for no reason. It just, I was just coughing, which I never do even when I'm sick. So that's why I was like, okay, this is weird. So I was just ordering hot water and tea. But that was basically it for the quick eats. If you've ever been on the carnival celebration, what's your favorite quick type of meal? What you got? How did you like it? Just let me know down in the comments below. Now let's get started on these restaurants, baby. Yes. The first restaurant we experienced was their Chinese Mexican fusion restaurant, which was Chibang. Yeah, I had to find it on my notes. Chibang. I would give this an 8 out of 10. Okay, an 8 out of 10. Not bad. The only thing was sweet and sour shrimp. It tastes like it came out of the frozen section in Walmart. So it just tasted like they. it was pre-made, they warmed it up, and gave it to me. It was doable, but... I didn't really like it like that. But what was great with Stole the Show was their steamed broccoli. I'll try to put them in use up here, but it was their steamed broccoli. When I tell you it tastes like it was steamed and grilled and 
just mixed with love it was the best broccoli i've had i really should have asked for the chef bring him out let me know the recipe baby because that was delicious i could have just snacked on that broccoli the whole day like leave the rest of the food at home leave it over there just give me some more broccoli more broccoli it was so delicious and i don't know what sauce they put on it but it was so 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 good like oh y'all that probably was my favorite <laughs> my favorite and then for a uh, um appetizer i had the dumplings those were really good they had different flavors i can't really describe the flavors but i remember the flavor being so good and for dessert i had the coconut tres leches cake oh it was so good y'all that one probably was my top dessert the whole cruise because normally i love the molten chocolate cake kind of thing that carnival does it's like their thing but this took the cake the coconut tres leches whoo y'all it was so good y'all need to get that for real, for real that next morning we went to the main dining for brunch i'll give it a six out of ten i will say the omelet was amazing Omelette is my favorite breakfast, y'all. If y'all didn't know, I love omelets. I also got a mimosa, the regular orange mimosa, which was really good. Tastes like a regular mimosa. Also, I got these sausage links. I didn't really like that. I took a little bite and I didn't like it. First of all, they were abnormally large. They were huge, like they were shot up with something. Yeah, I just didn't like that. But my main thing I got was salmon salad. It was my first time having salmon in my salad. It was okay. It was better than, well, I can't even say it was better than I thought. I wanted to try it. It wasn't too bad, but I probably would never get it again. I didn't like it. I don't know if in my mind, I just couldn't put two or two together, salmon in my salad or what, but it, it was okay. Also, I did like that they had an option if you were a juicing person, if you like green juice or like a fruit juice vegetable juice like those type of healthy juices they had those options too in the morning if you wanted just that and they were coming around and they had like little shots if you wanted those too so i thought that was really cool i didn't get any but it's an option main dining at night so we only went once for elegant night and got the chocolate cake very very good but my meal The overall meal, I did not like. The shrimp that I had for an appetizer, that was normal. It tastes like Walmart cocktail. Cocktail sauce with shrimp. That's what it basically was. So it was normal. My entree did not like the mashed cauliflower. I don't know how, I don't know what I was doing, but I don't like mashed cauliflower and I don't like peas. So the fact that they had them together, I don't know what made me say, yeah, I'll get that. It must have had nothing else that was great on the menu because I know it didn't have lobster, so... Yeah, that just was my option. Did not like that. It was like a cake. It tastes like dressing, like dressing. I do not like it. I do not like the texture. Don't like it at all. And then the broccoli, it just tastes like they threw broccoli on my plate. Like they put water on it. They let it sit for maybe two minutes in the water and then took it out. That's what it tastes like. Didn't like it. And then the shrimp just tastes like shrimp. I don't remember exactly what the sauce tastes like but that's all i ate on my plate and the chocolate cake so there's that for that next we have bonsai tapayaki Ooh, y'all really need my notes for this one so this i would have to give it a a 10,000 out of 10 y'all like if there was one specialty restaurant that you could or that you could only go to i would say choose that one yes you have to pay for it but y'all it was so so good we ate late because that was the only option i don't know why i waited so long to go ahead and book it but i did so the latest time the only time they had was nine o'clock p.m which that was too much food to be weighing heavy on me that late at night so keep that in mind if you want to go please book it ahead of time oh lord my camera about to die again First, let me give you a spill on how it goes. So for dinner, you pay $42 per person. If you, they do have a lunch option. I think that one was what, 30, yeah, $38. We didn't do the lunch, we did the dinner option. 
So you get three appetizers, one being raw. So make sure you let them know if any allergies or if you don't do raw and stuff like that. But I did try it and it was delicious. They do ask you beforehand if you have allergies too. So they should ask you. But the appetizers, they were divine, baby. Like this was like a five star restaurant on a cruise ship. It was so good. And I'm not overhyping it. It was really, really good. You also get super salad with the ginger dressing. And then you could choose your hibachi entree options or a combo of two out of the seven. That'll go with either fried rice or noodles. If you've been to hibachi, that's pretty much how it goes. But you get all that. And after that, you get six desserts that's like in a box. They're, they're small, but by the time you had all that food, you are stuffed and full. But it was so, so good. It was worth it. I will pay for it over and over and over again because my next Carnival Mega Ship, I'm going back. Like, it's that good. And I think for my entree, I want to say I got shrimp and salmon. So delicious. Like, I can't even describe it. It was just so good. So if y'all have a Carnival Cruise booked already, for celebration, jubilee, one of those, whoever got bonsai, go ahead and book it, stop playing around, don't wait, book it now, book it now. Next we have Emerald's Bistro. So I gave it a seven out of 10. For an appetizer, I did try the boudin, but y'all, I'm a boudin's girl. I'm from Louisiana, I'm from Opelousas, and that's the only boudin that I can really eat. So I kind of already went into it. Like, I'll try it. But mm. just letting y'all know, if y'all ever come to Opelousas, I don't know why you'll come to Opelousas or Lafayette. But if y'all do, please go to Ray's and Billy's. No, it's not Ray's no more. It's just Billy's. Go to Billy's Boudin. It is the best. I can't get it from anywhere else. I got to get it from my hometown. So the Boudin, eh. I got a po' boy, yeah, shrimp po' boy, which it was pretty decent. It wasn't crazy amazing or terrible, but it was pretty decent. The beignets stole the show, of course. I sound like a sweets person, huh? Maybe that's what it is. But the beignets were really good. They came with chocolate sauce and strawberry sauce. The sauces were great. I really enjoyed the beignets. Bay did try the gumbo and said basically, you know, you from Louisiana, don't expect to be amazed by it, which I figured already because I can't just try anybody gumbo. You you gotta be familiar and you gotta be from Louisiana for me to actually just eat your gumbo. I can't just eat anybody gumbo. Oh y'all, my phone, I mean, my camera is going in and out and it's probably about to die again. So last but not least, I'll just say Banzai Sushi, which is attached to Banzai Tapayaki. It was a 10 out of 10 because I really feel like I don't want to say you can't do wrong with sushi, but I really, really love sushi. So I got the cooked one and the raw one, the California roll, which was cooked and the Banzai Triple E roll, which was raw, but both of them were delicious and I really loved it. We also got shrimp tempura. They loved it so much. He got it twice. All right, y'all. So the restaurants on this ship were top tier. I think we did pretty good with all the options that they gave us. We pretty much hit all the spots that we wanted to and there's even more. So make sure you look at your cruise online and see all the food options. And y'all, yeah, just have a good time. I also wanted to mention, when we went to Chebang, it was free that first time. So look at that too when you're going on your cruise because the specialty restaurants, the way Carnival did it, which I loved, was that first time you go, you get to eat it for free. So it's like basically trying it. But if you decide to go in another time, then you pay for it. So that's why we were able to go to so many because a lot of them did it that way. So we just ate it one time for free and then went to another one the next day. So it's a perfect thing to try it. And then if you like it, you can go back, just know you're gonna pay for it that time. So pay attention to that on your cruise fair or online and see what has that option. But that's why I feel like we didn't need the dining package at all. So like I mentioned earlier, this cruise was one for the books. We really enjoyed it. We really loved it. Let us know again down in the comments if you've been on the carnival celebration or if you're going on the carnival celebration, what you can't wait to eat, what you can't wait to do, or if you've been, what did you have fun doing? What was your favorite restaurant? please let us know in the comments below and be sure to follow 
and subscribe you guys we are on our way to 200 we have surpassed who was at 157 now we at 165 right now so let's get to 200 y'all let's get to 200 please subscribe like this video and thanks again for watching and i will see you guys in the next video before this camera shuts off again and i have to throw it and i'll see you guys in the next review which will be our ports of call thanks again for watching bye